Hey gang, Scott here. Welcome to Impost. Thanks for joining me. So uh, this video, I want to talk about uh, midday captures and some of the things, uh, particularly one thing we can do with post processing to kind of bring back some of the color that we might lose to a midday type of landscape photo. You know, light is a little brighter, a little harsher. Sometimes the colors get washed out yeah, and sometimes midday, mid morning, mid afternoon, those types of landscape shoots, they're unavoidable. You're either in a place when you're there and so you're going to capture what you can um, or uh, the location isn't uh, open at uh, the golden hour and it happens uh, often in you know state parks national parks or uh, any, any places like that where they control access and uh, quick thanks to uh, to Rick he kind of inspired me to do a video on these things here because uh, one of the uh, controls is something I, I do use in Lightroom although it's kind of rare because I don't usually do midday uh, landscapes and I find this to be very helpful for it. I also want to show you an on one photo raw equivalent ish to uh, to do the same kind of thing. So uh, let's have a look here. So here, this is the unprocessed photo straight out of camera and not bad, a little bit underexposed, honestly, and dust spots here and there. I've done my basics. Let me turn off the, the preview there. So did, you know, the normal basic stuff and it's the same kind of basic stuff I do in, in any software and you know, auto button to get, you know, contrast, white point, black point, do your white balance, maybe a little texture, a little clarity, a little more contrast, whatever it might be. And um, let me dive into just a tiny bit of, uh, of theory here, right? So looking at this whole photo here, we know that each pixel has some combination of red, green, and blue, right? RGB. Every pixel has some representation of that. And there are some tools in uh, different packages or in different places, but that let you adjust how much of that red, green, or blue do you want in each of your color channels overall for the photo. Depending on the software, they work a little different. I'm going to start here in Lightroom. Um, I, I do like Lightroom's uh, approach to this. They have this calibration area where you have your primary channels, red, green, and blue. And I'll just work with the saturation sliders. And what I'll do, I'll start at the bottom here with blue. Push blue farther and I say, give me a lot more blue. Now notice every color, right? The greens over here, the oranges here they are all getting more saturated because there is blue everywhere. I'm basically saying every pixel that's got blue in it, give me more blue, you know, um, you know, crank blue up to 11. And you can do the same thing with the greens um, as well as the reds. If I push the reds really far, you notice even that mountain, that sky, that background there, that's getting richer, it's getting more saturated. There are you know, tiny bits of red out there, some level of R in the photo, <laughs> because these pixels have some bit of red in them to get that red, green, blue combination. And just fiddling with these ever so slightly uh, to get some kind of look. And for landscapes in particular, blue is like the magic slider. And it's pretty obvious why, right? You've got a blue sky. There's a lot of blue color cast being bounced around the photo. I'm at the ocean in this photo, so there's even more blue going on. But look at before that calibration and after. Before, after. I'll push the sliders a little harder just to make sure it comes through in the video. Before, after. Very obvious in the sky and the water. That's where most of the uh, deep blue is but also in the foreground, getting closer before. Notice the grass got a little dimmer. The orange mosses on the rocks got a little dimmer after everything's enriched. And so notably for midday landscapes, using the calibration tools, it's a nice tweak to color. Now, what about photo raw? You know, uh, I know I got a lot of photo raw folks in the audience here. Uh, there's no calibration tool. What can we do? Uh, there's uh, an approach we can take with the channel mixer that can give you a similar result. Every package is different, so things are going to look a little bit different. But uh, being able to say, you know, uh, give me more blue in the blue channel. Give me more red in the red channel. Uh, let me show you an approach to working with it. And so here's that same photo in Photo Raw. The, the preview is off. I'll turn the preview back on. You can see I've done Brilliance AI, turned on my lens corrections, and you know, kind of had the same kind of situation. 
Color's not bad. It's there. It's a little flat. Um, you know, the, the initial rendering is a little different. Like I said earlier, all software packages are different. Their raw interpreters are different. So things start off looking a little different. But what about that, uh, that color channel thing where uh, I want to do something like you just saw in calibration? We can do that with the color mixer. That's an effects filter. So let me add the color the color mixer, the channel mixer. Sorry, I got my terms uh, wrong there. The channel mixer. Now, this is um, this is uh, an odd one to to understand, um, at least uh, at at first. Here, let me hide the styles, but work with the channels. I have red, green, and blue, right? And here's red, and red is you know 100% red, and and no other percents of green than blue. Makes sense. Same for green. I have all green and nothing else in red. And so each one of these color channels, you're saying, I want blue to be exactly what blue should be. And I want red and green to basically be you know, un unaffected, un unchanged. Now let's start with the, the, we'll start with the blue channel again. That's the magic one for landscapes. What happens if I start pushing blue farther? Well, the photo gets very blue, right? I'll push it up to about 120. Okay, fine. We, we can, everything got very blue, but not in a not in a good way. What, what, what's kind of happened is we've overloaded the blue channel, and we haven't compensated for uh, the red and the green. And so usually, when you're working with a channel mixer, you'll push this over to the right. If you're trying to get a uh, a natural, reasonable look, that that notion of I have the blue channel here, and I want it to be just more blue. Well, I need to compensate. Let me take away red and take away green. Roughly trying to get the uh, the thing to add up to uh, like, I guess I'm getting 11 there, but these numbers to add up to basically zero, right? Before that change, after that change. You can see that enrichment happening certainly here in the sky, but we're also seeing it in the greens and the oranges, right? Before, after. And you can do the same type of thing with the other channels as well. With red, maybe I don't want as much. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll push it to, let's just say there. I was watching the photo and I was adjusting the, uh, the change there. So I had 105. I need to back these off roughly so things add up to zero. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just enough so that you're, you're, you're nudging red in the red channel higher. Compensate it back on the other two, you know, the two that aren't well, aren't red, 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 match that, back these off. So this is, these totals are roughly adding up to zero. I'll do the same thing with the green. Let's push that one. You can see it got that very green tint to it, right? But we don't want that green tint. We just want to kind of juice green itself. And so before all those changes, after, we're getting a similar result using the channel mixer. But the uh, the net net of you know why am I doing this video why am I showing you this when you have these these landscape photos that are not in the the pristine perfect golden light and the colors look pretty good but you need a little bit more take a look at the calibration tool in Lightroom or the channel mixer in I want Photo Raw and for each of the individual color channels you're saying I want to have a little more of whatever color it is whatever color channel it is blue green, red. And in the case of the channel mixer, make sure to balance it off. I uh, hope you found the video useful. Uh, questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.